But yeah, YouTube, what's going on? I'm gonna do a quick little update on the DIY algae scrubber. Um, the nitrates were just getting out of control. I kind of got away from the biological and focused more on the on the uh, mechanical for you know water clarity, polishing the water. And uh, well, I'm gonna tell you, it, it, you paid a price. So my nitrates were out of control. But since having the DIY algae scrubber up and running, I've noticed a steady decline in my nitrates. I'm getting ahead of the cycle. So let's go take a look at it. But real quick, I just oh, just like guy uh, here's lemon Jake. I added him to the tank, and uh, look at that dude. I added him to the tank, and well, my Lawanda, he wasn't too happy about it. You can see him getting kind of ragtagged right there. So I'll put him in here to keep him along, nurse him back to health, move him around the tank, and he will adjust, just like the, the Lawanda accepted my blaze. It's gonna be the same procedure. This guy here is just, Victorian's beautiful, they are just mean, and he's not even fully dominant. Got my little Insignus, be glad when he gets fully colored. Of course, I got Big Yellow. Big Yellow is just the worst, man. Really the most peaceful, peaceful peacock I've ever owned. Got a new Kobu. The bicolor. New Red Empress. Traded my big boy for him. He got a little bit bite on the eye, but he'll be okay. And my Flame Tail. All right, so let's take a look at the, the scrubber. All right, so open the lid. A little bright, but here's my DIY algae scrubber. Still kicking. Slide it over here, we'll take a look at it. I did add this notch in case the holes ever clog up, it'll always have an overflow. But on the inside, I got some algae, got some Ricky and some moss in there, but uh, that denitrate from Seachem is doing what it's supposed to do. If you look over here, I started with a little patch of Ricky. And just look how this has grown, and actually it's got some, some flame moss mixed in, check that out. Yep, got some over here as well. I also threw a few baby tears in there. Let's see. Yeah, threw some baby tears in there just to see how they do. I mean, this is African cichlid, high pH water. I even put salt in here. And it's just a T8 lighting. But I got new growth. Check that out. So if you look, you see that green algae? See that green algae starting to grow? That's what's going to eat up the nitrates. And as that starts to spread more and more, I will reduce this. But this is just growing. So yeah, that's it guys. Algae scrubbing, full effect. So yeah. So that's it guys. Just a quick little overview. Yeah, you see that Victorian? Thinking he's the tank boss. But yeah, just a quick little overview of the tank. Uh, let me show you something real quick. I did a rescape on a planted tank, but I didn't finish the rescape, so I'm gonna rescape it again. <laughs> I'm gonna turn, take the fish, the shrimp tank, and combine it over here. I'm just gonna have two tanks for now. All right, guys, thanks for watching.